For this lesson, I've attached this Hitachi external USB drive. It has a volume appropriately named external USB. This is a 500 gigabyte drive that has about 410 gigabytes of data that's free. If I wanted to erase the external USB volume, I could select it and click the erase button. In the panel that comes down, we can choose a new name for the volume or just retain the current one. In the format menu, if you're going to use the drive only with a Mac computer, selecting Mac OS Extended Journaled is the best choice. If you're going to be using the drive to share files between a Mac and Windows PC, select XFAT if the volume is going to be over 32 GB in size, which this one would, or MS-DOS if the volume is going to be under 32 GB. This option is usually good for thumb drives. Under security options, we can select a range of erase procedures from the fastest, which will only take a few seconds, to the most secure, which depending on the size of the hard drive can take several hours. As we slide up to more secure options, the description below tells me what exactly is going to occur. To erase a drive securely, Disk Utility basically has to write random data to the entire drive that's going to overwrite the data that's currently there. This is why secure erase options can take so long. It's basically copying meaningless data to the entire drive in order to wipe out any evidence of the old data. We go from a 1-pass rewrite to 3 and then to 7 for the most secure erase procedure. We can also reformat the drive with the erase command. So rather than selecting the external USB volume, I can select the Hitachi drive. Erasing from here will wipe out all the volumes on the drive. When reformatting a drive, we get a scheme option. GUID is the best option if the drive is going to be used with a Mac. If you want to make the drive compatible with Windows PCs, Select an XFAT or MS-DOS format and a master boot record scheme. I'm going to rename the volume to Storage and set it up to work only with a Mac. Then reformat the drive by clicking Erase. That results in a new empty volume with the name storage. The Hitachi drive remains the same as this name cannot be changed. Next we'll look at how to add partitions.